What's up everybody, it's Ron in here, back with some StarCraft 2 for you today. Let's go ahead and check out those combatants coming in in the bottom left corner. In the blue, this is red, in the red Terran is UCAP's own Grams. And coming in in the top right hand corner as the blue Terran, Wasps Clicks D or Clicks D. I think it's Clicks D, that's probably how I'm going to say it. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out how these two guys do against each other in a grand 1v1 battle here today in this Masters League match. Go ahead and bring up that production tab as well and uh, hopefully this match is exciting. I have been behind a bit in my casting lately so I am uh, casting this and releasing this in the same day which I typically try not to do that way I have a little leniency and I can have uploads and encodes all done and stuff but uh, I'm gonna, gonna do what I can about it because I want to keep content rolling out for you guys. Uh, so, gonna be doing that as well as a few other videos. Hopefully tonight we'll see. Not sure yet. Not sure where the world's gonna take me. Anyways, there goes the scout. Fort Graham's gonna go ahead and do the big journey across the hot Hoth wasteland here. Um, I actually don't know the specific name of this map yet. Um, I have not memorized all the ladder maps as I should have. Uh, and that is something I'm gonna be get on getting on to uh, in the next week, week or two. Uh, want to get a little more back into casting try and do Saturday matches again I know I haven't done those in a very long time and uh, gonna try and get back into the swing of things and ooh two scouts just uh, kinda touch cut not really touch but th they see each other they touch vision as they pass there uh, so of course clicks D is gonna be running down there to scout out Grams's base no real mystery going on right now uh, it's only a 1v1 player uh, map they know where each other are I've never actually seen that, uh, Planet S. Maybe that's the name of the map? I don't know. Anyways, uh, Graham's not getting too much scouting information there. Of course, seeing the gas and the barracks going up. Knows there's no fast expand just yet. Might be a little early for that. Ooh, but a nice wall off at the last second. Does keep Clixty from getting into Graham's base. And, uh, that is gonna keep that crucial information away from him. Uh, especially that three loaded up gas. As Clixty is definitely not, well, now he's three loading that gas. Uh, so, neither player divul divulging too much from each other. Uh, Graham's just scouted a bit earlier, really, and that's the only difference. We do have a uh, SCV coming in here now, but uh, that Marine, ooh, ooh, very, almost gets that uh, SCV. A very nice call by Clixty to get that guy out of there, and uh, apparently did it just in time. If he had gone a meter more to the left, he would have died and definitely not made that home. And again, you always want to keep any unit you can alive, period. No reason to throw them away, unless they're completely and utterly useless, which uh, is almost never a thing. Unless it's like a changeling or something. So, two expansions going on, one for each player, obviously, uh, but very different options and d d decisions here. Graham's building right down in his natural. He's going to be able to mine sooner, but it is going to take him a bit longer to get that orbital. Uh, well, no, not no, it's not. Uh, but he's going to have a harder time defending it. While he probably suspects that Clixty doesn't have too many troops right now, isn't looking to attack, and he's completely right. Clixty is expanding himself, going for the expansion in the base. Now, he's going to get the orbital pretty much the same time as Graham's, but what this allows him to do is, you know, just have it a little better defended. And the unfortunate downside to that is he's not going to be mining as quick. And... So we're going to definitely need to keep an eye on that, see if it comes back to bite him in the ass as it is, uh, just simply because uh, those little crucial minerals can always be uh, very needed, especially in a mere matchup, uh, any mere matchup really. Others more so than TVT, specifically thinking Protoss. Uh, if you expand into Protoss, uh, PvP, it can often lead to your demise, so you got to be careful and do it at the right time. We do see that orbital now converting for that command center. And uh, we do have a starport coming up, or yes, coming up for Clixty. So that is a uh, 1 1 1 there. Yes, no other buildings on the map for him. And uh, that is going to be something to definitely keep an eye on. In fact, both players have 1 1 1. Graham's just a little bit ahead. His starport's going to get out quite a bit ahead of time. And uh, he has quite a few more. No, actually not. Just two more Marines. Uh, six. Marines for Clixty, but he is now producing Hellions at a double rate with that reactor. Uh, 
so he may be looking for some quick Hellion Harass uh, by Clixty. The scan going to go down right there and see the 111. So Grams definitely knows what's going on now. Uh, no real big mystery there. The expansion for Clixty finally going to be moving into position. Obviously, you can see Grams is already getting some mining done from his. Nothing uh, horribly imbalancing, but definitely getting mining done, period, and that is crucial. Uh, both players playing real defensively, putting up uh, some bunkers and whatnot. Obviously, Clixty coming in here, trying to snipe off a few Marines with those Hellions. He is going to get two of them. The Medivac not able to save that guy, and uh, he is one crispy fried Marine. Gonna disappear into ash there. Anyways, those Hellions are going to go home, but there's already four on the map. Actually, more than that, six on the map now. And uh, looks like Grams has opted for the Hellbat option. In fact, he may be doing a Hellbat drop. Keep an eye on this guy as he does journey across the map. In the meantime, though, quite a few Hellions on the field for Clixty. I think he really wants to do some crazy Hellion harass as uh, he is continuing the Hellion production. Note, there is a Viking there. That could be a problem for that medevac if it isn't. Uh, very on par with micro if Grams is off par with micro could have some issues there here come quite a few Hellions are they gonna poke in there uh, no not yet actually they're going to run away honestly if they had to drove right up which this is open he doesn't necessarily know it's open but uh could have definitely gotten in the working line and done some filthy damage and that is a rather unsaturated expansion there uh, but if you'll note, both expansions are, or both command centers are rather even on workers. Uh, he's just kind of splitting up the workers to minimize losses. Always a good idea to do that. You never know which base is going to get hit. Save a little uh, skin on your, skin on your workers, on your economy. Yeah, words. Uh, second factory coming up for Clixty. Uh, third, actually. Uh, it looks like he is really interested in Hellion harassing. And these guys right now are just harassing the crap out of those gold minerals. They aren't going anywhere. Uh, so, jeez, how many Hellions is he at now? We are sitting at, what, what, 12 Hellions. I mean, and no blue flame yet either. A nice little harass there by the uh, Hellbats. Let's back up just a little bit, see some of that drop. Those two guys drop in, start doing some damage to the... Oh, did I go too far? No, here he comes. I went back too far. Right as a new worker line moves in, and some mules. The mules are the only things left up at the moment. Uh, a couple marines come in there. They're going to really try to defend that. Uh, two of them go down. One more very close to going down before that hellbat went down. I don't know if that was effectively useful for Grams. It definitely got quite a few workers. We can check out that uh, workers till killed. Oh, man, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. There we go. Workers killed seven, uh, so not bad. Uh, probably wanted a few more there with two Hellbats, but again, not bad. He killed quite a few Hellbats and uh, that, or workers, and that's going to do some good damage. This is a lot of Hellions. Those honestly could take down that bunker if they really wanted to. SCVs are going to come off the line. They're getting into the grit with the Hellions, and I'm not sure if that's the right option. The Hellions are definitely going down. Oh, but quite a few workers are now prey to those Hellions. And uh, what is... Oh, the Viking definitely trying to do some damage. Go ahead and check out how many workers. Only seven killed by Clixty. Thought he was going to kill way more than that. Uh, I'm guessing the Hellions, or the, gosh, why am I doing that? I'm guessing the SCVs were repairing each other, possibly. Uh, but that could have been so devastating for Grams and really just turned into a big coup. He took out 12 to 14 Hellions and only lost seven workers. That's pretty good. And uh, now he's going to move out his own army. Uh, quite a few Marines in here. Only one Siege Tank. I'd like to see another Siege Tank or two in there. Or maybe some Hellbats. And uh, maybe he's going to have reinforcements coming up from behind. I'm not sure, but he definitely wants to push his advantage right now. He knows that he just took out a lot of Hellions. And Clixty might just have that opening ready to go. He's going to send in a Scout Marine. Noticing that the bunker is completely empty. Might as well saw right through it. He does indeed do that. In fact, he's going to just start pecking off. Supply depots. A few Marines move in. Completely destroyed by that siege tank. Hellion's going to move in. That is a lot of vile. Very vulnerable. Not many medevacs. No medevacs now. Thanks to the Viking. The Hellions, though, their numbers are dwindling as reinforcement Marines are slow, slowly coming in as I'm dying. And uh, those Hellions, there's only one left. The siege tank completely unscratched. I guess a little scratch. Not much, though. Suddenly, Clixty is in some serious trouble, but the siege tank is now all alone. 
Oh, Blue Flame is done. The Hellion's going to get right in there. The Vikings are going to land. They're going to saw through that Hellion in almost no time. There he goes. Hearts going everywhere. And the Siege Tank uh, is not in range of anything. Oh, he is in range of the eBay. So he's going to start sieging the eBay. Uh, not going to do a lot of damage there. I would move that guy up to the mineral line. Those are some juicy, juicy SCVs. You really want to start shooting. However, we do have a small group of Marines, a Marauder, a couple more Marines, and another tank coming in. And this very well is probably going to do it in for Clixty. Those Hellions aren't going to do a ton of damage to the Marauders and uh, almost no damage to the Siege Tanks. Here come the Hellions moving right in there. And actually, luckily, one of the Siege Tanks not sieged up, able to help out here. One of the tanks goes down. The Marines trying to do their best to saw through these Hellions. The Hellions take down the second tank, that blue flame really helping now. But, oh, with the landing Vikings, they start to rip through the remaining Hellions. And the last two have to run away. They have almost no health. A few more coming in. Clixty really sticking to this Hellion build. I do not think it's what he needs right now. It's definitely not winning the day for him. He's a bit of holding the line. That Viking was on the ground a long time. I'm going to walk home instead of fly. And another big army for Graham sitting here at his front door. And if he moves out with this, he will probably roll through Clixty, especially uh, if these two Hellions hadn't been repaired. And indeed, he's going to move out here. He's got a lot more Marauders this time. Going to take a lot less damage from those Hellions. Uh, is he up to three? No, just two Medivacs for now. Yeah, two Medivacs. There's a Raven on the field for Clixty, though. We'll keep an eye on that. A good place seeker missile could definitely do some damage but a couple hellions caught out of place two of them get slowed one gets picked off and free damage for grams he's gonna like that and gonna move in here we're gonna have this final big engagement here i believe the hellions just are not gonna be able to take on that army they cannot directly fight it vikings even landing up here doing some nice damage gonna unfold take out that raven i don't even think he got a seeker missile off and suddenly clicks his army Yet again, just completely cracked, completely devastated, and uh, this expansion will probably fall. Workers off the line, desperately trying to get in there, do some damage. They are taking a few units out, but nowhere near enough. And that is a GG by Clixty. Well played by Grams. Uh, again, guys, if you want me to cast your games, you can send those to Zerondon at gmail.com. Send them over any league. I want to cast your games. And uh, please do thumbs up and subscribe so we can bring you more StarCraft 2 stuff. I have been Zerondon. And we'll catch all of you on the other side.